In this chapter, we will learn how to create a line in our shader. The line will appear something like this. We will be able to define the width of the line. What we will do is we will assign this line to the alpha channel. So if we assign it to a mesh card, only the line on the mesh card will be visible and everything else will be transparent. So how we will create this line we will be using our same approach which is the x coordinate of the texture what we will do is if our value runs from right to left we will tell it that before the beginning or before the start of the line the alpha will be zero similarly after the end of the line or after the end of the line width alpha is equals to zero so this time when we will write a shader we will create a function and we will also learn how we can create functions inside our shader and how we will use them so let's get back to our project where we will create a new shader and try to create a line pattern this time i will take square root shader and i will duplicate that I'll name it as line First, we will change the name of it and then what we will do is inside our pass we will create a function what we will call this function is draw line so let's try defining how we will use this function first instead of square root now i'm using draw line i will pass texture coordinate x because i want to draw the line based on x axis of our texture coordinate i will define the starting width i want to start my line from 0 0.4 and i will end the line at 0 0.6 so the width of the line will be 0.2 we have three arguments for this function if we want to draw line on any of the axes, we can just pass complete texture coordinate and then we will choose inside the draw line function that which axis we want to use. So the first argument is a float to type because it has x and y coordinates and this time we will define them as x, y. Second argument will be a float type and we will call it start. The third argument will also be a float type. We will call it end. Now it's time to write the code inside our function. So one thing that we discussed is there will be a condition and based on that condition, alpha will be one. And if that condition is not satisfied, alpha will be zero. So we'll have to return a number, but we want to keep the flexibility of returning a float variable so we will say draw line is a function its return type is float and these three are its argument or parameters if this condition is not satisfied else return zero this is a normal convention of writing the code but to make it a little bit shorter what we can do is we can remove the else condition because as soon as if condition is satisfied it will return the function it will never reach to this code if the condition is not satisfied we want to return zero but for new programmers we will leave it as if and else so what is our condition if x y is x is or for better readability let's use uv if the x value is greater than start then return one but if we will leave that it will be a line up to the end of the mesh but we don't want that so there is another condition that we will apply and we will use end
and we will say uv dot x is smaller than end so if a value of x is between start and end only in that condition it will return 1 otherwise it will return 0 so let's save this function and see 